Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Janet Yong, and in my channel, I share about Feng Shui, Ba Zi, entrepreneurship as well as personal growth, especially in the areas of communication success and motivation. Today is an exciting episode because I will be launching the 2023 forecast series starting with the summary on which animal will win the race. So before we go into that, I will also be sharing in this episode what are the energies that we will be seeing in the year 2023 of the Yin Water Rabbit. And with that, what kind of mindsets and skill sets we need to prepare ourselves for in order to survive and thrive in this new year of the Yin Water Rabbit. So without further ado, let's move on to the next segment. Welcome to this segment where I'll share with you the 12 animal horoscope signs in terms of what are the stars, auspicious and inauspicious that will be arriving for each of them. Now for this episode itself, it will be a summary to look at which animal actually wins the race in the year 2023. Before that, if you are new to my channel and do not know your Bazi chart, please go to this link bazicalculator.janetyong.com or scan this QR code to download the link before you go through this particular video so that you know which are the animal horoscope signs within your chart. Now, why did I say that? Basically, if you look at the chart earlier on, you will notice that there can be up to four animal horoscope signs within a Bazi chart. And for most people, if you're only looking at the year that you are born, then you are only looking at actually 12.5%, which is one eighth of the entire chart to understand what's going to happen in this new year. And if you are someone who is already familiar with what is Bazi, what are the animal horoscope, you can basically skip this section and go straight to the timestamp that I've indicated below in the video description on the forecast for which animal will win the animal horoscope race. Now for those who are new, let me just recap. If you have an animal horoscope sign within the year. Generally, it relates to the bigger company environment, your grandparents, the industry that you are in. So for instance, the good stars, if it happens to be the animal horoscope that is within your year pillar, then it's generally about your bigger industry environment, whether is it going through a good luck cycle or they will see auspicious stars this year, your social circle of friends. If it is your month, then it's really more related to your career, your immediate boss, as well as your immediate department. And if it's at home, it will be usually about your parents in terms of relationship. Now, if it is the day, then it usually relates more to yourself, your spouse, your relationship with your peers, your siblings. It also represents yourself from a health perspective as well. Now, if you see the animal horoscope sign in the hour, then it has to do with your relationship either with your subordinates, if you have children, your children, people younger than you, the hour pillow also governs your action. Therefore, from the perspective of investment, whether you should be taking risks or not taking risks, you should look at whether the animal horoscope sign has auspicious or inauspicious stars for this year, the year of the yin water rabbit. Now, let's look at which animal actually wins the race in 2023. So, we have these five animals, the dog, the rat, the rabbit, the horse and the monkey that represents the best group within this new year. The next group is that of average, it's the goat, the dragon and the snake. And the last four animal signs would be that of the ox, the tiger, the rooster and the pig. Now, I'm actually ranking this based from the auspicious and inauspicious stars as well as the animal horoscope palace flying stars. So, generally speaking, why this is the case, let's take a look at the next chart. In the next chart, you will notice that some of the animal horoscope signs would have the green auspicious stars, some of the animal horoscope signs would have the black inauspicious stars. So generally speaking, the ones that I classify within the big group of bears as well as average is based on the fact that they do have some auspicious stars aiding them this year or they are in a pretty good 
palace in terms of their animal horoscope palace and if you look at why the animal horoscope signs that need to build foundation are the rooster, the ox, the tiger and the pig it's mainly because they do not have any auspicious stars aiding them so let's take a look at it from a group perspective before I dwell on the individual animal horoscopes next week so for those with the rat, the rabbit, the goat and the dog in your chart congratulations in this new year you will see wealth and opportunities especially if you have these animal signs either within the month pillar okay which will then mean from a career perspective it is within your hour pillar then there could be investment opportunities as well and if you are looking at career recognition and power it will be those with the red rabbit goat and dog within their charts especially if these red rabbit goat and dog is within your month branch and those with the red dragon horse and dog this year it would be a year where you can basically get the help from helpful mentors helpful people but please do remember when we are getting nobleman help or help from helpful people we will usually need to step up and you need to know what exactly you are looking for in terms of asking people for help you cannot just sit there and wait for the person to come and help you because everybody needs help right it's how they know in what area they can be of assistance to you so if you have the red dragon horse and dog please do remember that you need to step up in the first place understand where you need assistance and help from others and that's how others will be able to help you as well so the other part of it is in today's world if you want to do well you need to network you need to be able to communicate and for some it will be travel luck especially from the perspective of career so if you have the rat the dog the monkey horse and the snake within your charts then this would be a great year for you to brush up your communication skills your people skills so you can network better and if you are looking forward to travel in terms of boosting your career luck this will be a great year as well especially if you have the rat the dog the monkey the horse and the snake within your man pillar now if you do have the rabbit and the goat within your chart it's great because you would have the academic star so it, it's time to pick up that learning because learning is always continuous and if you're open-minded enough in this new period nine there will be multiple new skill sets that each of us would learn and if you have the rabbit and the goat within your chart this will be a great year to start picking up new skill sets as well now that is basically a summary of these animal horoscope signs what i would like to do right now is to take a closer look at the master chart of the year 2023 now the year 2023 is basically a yin water rabbit year it's also on a yin water day this basically then allows us to look at what are the elements and what it represents to us within this new year now you can see that within the chart itself it is lacking of the metal and the water element now what does that mean when someone lacks the metal element it generally means lacking of analysis when the year's chart lacks the analysis element or the metal element people are generally a little bit more impatient they will not generally be able to step back and be able to take a look at the bigger company environment bigger country environment people will be a tad more impatient what about water water is also pretty lacking in this particular chart so water in this chart generally represents the people and connection element when that is lacking as well it would also mean that people may not necessarily be willing to work with each other as much especially when you see a tiger and snake punishment relationship within the chart now let's take a look at the other elements we have quite a lot of the wood elements especially the young wood element which represents the hurting officer or performer profile which means about speaking out loud having a lot of ideas now the other element that is really strong in this chart is the fire element which represents wealth 
So what does it mean then if you see a very weak water element chart as well as when there's a lot of output and the action orientation or wealth element. So output, like I mentioned earlier on, is about ideas and when you look at purely just the wealth element, you can also say that there's a lot of wealth opportunities. But when we are looking at an individual sponsor chart, this would be a chart traditionally where we call in Chinese Tai Duo Sen Zi Luo chart. Now what does it mean actually? It generally means that a person with this chart will have a lot of money or lack of money and because of that their health is not so great. Or from a modern perspective would be someone who basically works too hard, okay, basically jumps at every single opportunity, is not focused and therefore in the end they are not able to do well in one particular area because they spread their wealth, they spread their focus into too many areas. Therefore, one of the key things for the new year for anyone, especially if the fire element is not favorable for you in your basel chart, is to be very, very focused. In any circumstances, wealth can be a crisis, it can be an opportunity. Now, how do you utilize it? Is that up to you? Generally speaking, if I look at it from the Barter Chart perspective, there are wealth opportunities. But if you do not stay focused, you become too impatient and you decide to invest in too many areas because you have too many ideas since there's so much wood element that there could be a problem with wealth loss. In summary, what we are looking at is a year where there will be opportunity, but if not harnessed properly, it can become a crisis either for yourself, for the people around you, or for the world. So with this, I'd like to conclude today's session. I look forward to seeing you in my channel next week, where I'll be sharing the forecast specifically for those born with the red and the ox within their chart. Goodbye. <music>